What's up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. So I want to show you today why it's not just a good thing to use lighter weights, but why it's a very important thing to use lighter weights if you want to develop your best back. And it all comes down to the fact that I'm going to guarantee that when you do your back exercises that you never ever fully contract your back. And there's a big reason for it. When you're doing your pushing exercises, think about what's on the other end of most of every single rep of a pushing exercise you do. You can see me doing a dip right here. When I get to the top, there's a moment of actual relief here. I could actually hold the top position of a dip better than I could any other position of that exercise. Same thing goes here for even a bench press. The bench press, if we can get to the end, I can lock out my arms, I can actually hold it there. And the same thing happens even here on a shoulder press. When I get to the end of that rep, I can actually hold it there. There's a moment of relief. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. But now, when we look at an exercise like the lat pull down, or we look at a, a one arm row like I'm gonna show you here also, what is at the end of that? More pain, more discomfort, more struggle. Because what we're trying to do is fight this contraction, right? I gotta pull down, and when I'm down here, my body wants to get out of here as fast as possible. And what I'm telling you is, foregoing that is costing you an opportunity to get better development in your back. So lighten the weight a little bit. Not for all of your work. It's okay to use some of the heavier sets, obviously, to increase the tension and overload, but you have to include lighter weights, and I'm gonna enforce that by doing two techniques here I'm gonna show you. So now when I come down, I don't just wanna bring it to here, which a lot of guys will do. I wanna get it down all the way as far as I possibly could, get the strongest contraction I possibly could in my back squeezing my elbows down to my sides to get those lats activated. But what we can do is, first technique is one and a half reps. We've used it before, especially with our shoulder training, with the side delt exercise. We come up a half way, and I reinforce it, and I gotta do it again. And then I come up. So down, squeeze, up, and bring it right back down again. And up, down, up halfway, Boom, right back down again. Do a few sets of these, and I am using light weight, and it feels a hell of a lot heavier because I'm just not used to really A, getting into that contraction, and B, having to reinforce and do it again. The next technique that we can use is a fiber blast, which we, is basically a pulsed rep at the end of the contraction. So what it looks like again now is we don't come back halfway. What we do is we go down to the back here, and then we go with a pulse contraction down, down and down again. And I'm hoping to, if I haven't gotten there on the first one, here, one, two, three. It gives me an opportunity to reinforce and get a better contraction with the pulse at the end. One, two, three, and up. And remember I said I could do it here on a one-arm row too. The same thing applies. You do a one-arm row, your body is doing everything it can to keep this dumbbell back down here on the ground because the end position of the rep is difficult. There is no relief. There is no uh, you know, break at the end of every rep. So what you want to do is lighten the weight, get up there and really focus on getting your elbow back behind your body. You get a good, strong contraction. And we can use the same thing. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. If you're using the fibroblast or up, down halfway and boom, back up again. Up halfway and drive it up again. So remember, it's not just about always using heavy weights. I'm a big believer in using heavy weights to cr create the overload and tension necessary, but you have to use lighter weights if you want maximum development. And this is exactly the reason why, especially when it comes to back training, because of the nature of how the exercises stack up and what happens with our bodies against gravity when we finish every exercise. Guys, if you're looking for a program that puts the science back in strength, allows you to train with these type of tips so you get more out of every workout that you do, head to athlinex.com right now and get our athlinex training program. In the meantime, if you found the video helpful, leave your comments and thumbs up below and let me know what you want me to cover in a future video and I'll do my best to do that. All right guys, see you soon.